Well, one of the things about Joe Martin's stage race that we've seen um, early on, we saw people who had never been to Fayetteville, Arkansas. So they come here for the race, and then we'll get a phone call three or four months later, and they're asking where a restaurant is, or they're bringing their wife or their husband, or they're interviewing for a job here. And so now, over time, we've had people move to our community, or in the off season, they're bringing their entire amateur team down or their family to come vacation or spend a week in riding. So we feel like it has built a community of people uh, that would have never come to Fayetteville, Arkansas. When we choose to do races, we don't, you know, it takes a lot to travel and we don't have an unlimited budget. So we have to pick and choose the races that we're going to do. So we try to go to races where the city really gets behind it. Um, if they're downtown venues um, and downtown finishes, that is really more exciting for us. Teams will start arriving as, as early as two or three days before and will stay a couple of days after. So you've got um, a little over a thousand people in town, whether they be amateurs or professionals or race staff or friends and family for almost one week. And so when you start to multiply that, I think it's well over a million dollars each year that's, um, that's a direct effect to our economy. I think in general residents are very supportive of the Joe Martin stage race. Uh, it's an iconic event. I mean, being here for almost four decades means that uh, Fayetteville has grown as the race has grown. I've been in the industry long enough to have seen kind of a, a pretty good growth in, in what's happening and, uh, and very proud to be part of it. I wish we were here and had you know, a week to spend and um, explore some of the trails. Some of us like to hike, or I personally like to mountain bike, and um, you know, you, or you just see the water and you think, okay, the water.